most things you know are, well, real. Like, a banana, or this video, or literally anything else. But, what if there was something that wasn't real? In this video, I'm gonna try and make that idea a reality, and make a game that isn't real. I'm doing this as part of the 2022.1 Brackies Game Jam, and it's gonna be easy. I mean, I have seven whole day- wait, what? There's only two days left? I immediately got to work brainstorming what the theme of the jam, it is not real could look like, as it isn't as simple as some themes in the past. I decided that I wanted to make a platformer game where you can't see the platforms, because they're not real, and you must feel the environment around you to get an idea of your surroundings. So, I added a square, gave it some gravity, made it move left and right, and made it jump. I also made a border around the camera so the square can't leave your field of view. That was the basics of a platformer game done, so it was time to start working on what would make this game unique. The invisible platforms. It was not hard, I just made the platforms invisible. However, to make it feel more fluid and more noticeable when you run into walls, I decided that I was going to add a bunch of haptic feedback. I added an arrow for each direction, which will appear when it detects a wall on that side of you, making it easier to see. I then added some sounds which play directionally in your headphones depending on the side you hit the wall. At this point, I had about a day left. So to make the game look better, I created a very simple player sprite with a drop shadow and added post-processing effects. Obviously, since this is a game, there needs to be a challenge. So I made some triangles which are uh, kill you, I added animations for the player and a cool looking trail behind you, and the game suddenly feels much nicer to play. Finally, I made a green circle which means you win. With most of the components of the game in place, I had to start working on the levels to play. It proved to be fairly difficult to come up with designs for invisible levels, but somehow I managed to make 21 levels, some of which introduced new mechanics like jump boosts and gravity switches. I won't say too much about the levels in case you want to play them yourself. After this, I had only 10 hours left. I made a simple windscreen with a cool colour changing background, a menu with level select, and started making music for the game. I made some dreamy sounding chords, added some simple drums, made a bass line and melody, combined it all into a full song. And after adding in the music, I had finished the game. Except, with only a few hours left, it didn't export properly to the web version, and half the sounds were missing. But after a long time trying to fix it, I just left it as I had no time left. If you play it, I highly recommend you download it instead of playing the web version, so you get the full experience. Now there were over 1500 entries in this game jam, and somehow my game managed to place 234th, which I think is pretty good for the limited time I had compared to others, and the amount of people in the jam. Overall, it was fun, and if you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe.